Picture this, you're driving home from work after a long day, you're rushing home to make dinner with the kids and then have to tuck them into bed, all the while you're thinking to yourself, when can I get some golf practice in? How am I going to keep the dream alive? In this modern day, everyone is busy. We don't have time to go to the course and practice our short game. So what's a golfer to do? Well, it's actually not that hard. You call Perfect Turf Vancouver and get a world-class putting green installed in your backyard. Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus Jansen and in this video I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at how Perfect Turf Vancouver transformed my backyard from an overgrown weed bed into a golfer's paradise. Enjoy! So the first step in getting a new putting green installed is you need to cut out the old sod. So we got this sod cutter over here. Rip up these into some lines. And the boys here are taking out the old side. So they removed all of the soil. And so the putting green is going to be about 30 feet in length, about 15 feet in width here. And we're going to check in with our main man, Brad. How you doing, buddy? Good. How you doing? Fantastic. So, uh, Brad, you are the GM of Perfect Turf Vancouver, right? Yes. And tell us a little bit about this project here today. So you know, we're, bu we're building you a green here. It's going to be, uh, we're going to get it rolling nice and quick and it's going to really change the backyard layout for you. It's going to be fantastic. I yeah. can't wait. So how many greens have you uh, done in your in your career? Whoa. Um, probably looking a couple hundred. A couple hundred? Yeah. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, we have a couple other uh, putting green specialists here working yeah. on this one too who've done uh, maybe even more than me. So it's going to be, it's going to be a nice fun green when it's done. Fantastic. And how, um, how, how long does it take to install a green like this? Uh, something like this backyard, roughly a thousand square feet. We can do it in a couple days. One day would be the uh, the base, the rip out, get the contouring of the green, and then the next day we come in, uh, put the cups in, and then uh, work on the green itself. And how long can I expect this to last in my backyard? You're gonna have a 10 year warranty, but it's gonna last a lot longer than that. I mean, it can last 20 plus years with some little bit of maintenance on it, and uh, it, it lasts a long time. It's a really good product. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Looking forward to it. Awesome. All right, this is what the turf looks like. We've got a little bobcat here, and this is my entire backyard. Right in front of my driveway here. And then we've got uh, some top gravel that's going to be put in for the base layer. So this is exciting. Can't wait. All right, guys, so here's looking at the before and after here. Stage one, day one is complete. They're just putting some final compacting in, but it's looking very, very solid. Great work here. Went ahead and did a, a little line here. This is obviously going to be where the putting green is. So we're going to have, obviously, the fringe around here. So we're going to have some chipping areas here. But this is what the green is going to look like. So view from the opposite side. Pretty solid. It's a good day one. So the crew came right at about 8.30 this morning and they worked until right around 4.30, 5 o'clock today. So a good full days of work. They had a team of five guys that came in here to do the work here today. Very impressed by the Perfect Turf Vancouver team. Well, this is day two of the putting green installation and here are the greens that have arrived on the back of this trailer. We've got the crew from Perfect Turf Vancouver. Here this morning. Well guys, it is the second day of the putting green installation from Perfect Turf Vancouver and I'm a little excited. I just got home from work and we're going to go take a look in the backyard right now. So let's see what the boys have gotten up to. What a difference a couple days make. Welcome to the new backyard. Nice. Fantastic. So guys, I'm going to give you a little update on how this process works. So again, day one was the old sod removal and then laying down the gravel base. And then day two is now bringing in the putting green and the surrounding rough areas. Now you're gonna see that there's three different types of fabrics. It started raining around 12 noon today. And unfortunately, because of the rain, they couldn't put down the, the layer of sand and actually compact this. In addition to that, they still have the seams that they need to finish. So what we're gonna do is, this is again, this is an unfinished project. This is just day two, day two of three. But again, we're going to reveal under here, this is that compacted gravel. You can see how nice and hard that is. You know, this is a really thin mat. You can see that's, you know, just, um, I mean, it's not even an eighth of an inch. You know, very thin in material here, you know, but a good probably two inches on the overall grass as far as that. And then they're going to go ahead and seam this up and certainly make this a little bit uh, 
you know, tidier once they finish that up. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of look underneath the green here so you can see that the green complex as well is, you know, very thin material, but a good, you know, I would say a good half inch to three quarters of an inch in thickness here on the actual green. So it's good quality. Again, we've still got uh, about four to five hours of work left to, to uh, really take care of the seams. And then in order to actually make this putting green roll true, what they do is they actually put a fine layer of sand on top then they get the compactor and they compact it one more time and then they can roll that out and really start getting the greens rolling at a good speed. So my goal for this putting green is I'm gonna keep it, you know, probably around running about a 10 on the stint meter. That's about how my course plays here in Vancouver. I do have a little bit of slopes here as well. I'm gonna bend down here to give you guys a little look and you can see that this side is a little bit higher and then that ball definitely is gonna have a little bit of curve there. So once this gets faster, we're gonna have a nice you know, right to left putt here. Kind of the slope comes down here. This is a nice flat part of the green to work on those 10 to 12 footers. But overall, very happy with the transformation that we've had the first couple of days, so. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Good morning, great, you? Fantastic, so we had about a three, four day uh, delay because of some rain, but we've had some nice sunshine. Everything's been dried out. So Brad, what's the last steps for today? What are we doing? So today we're gonna to be uh, seaming all the seams down, um, put f the final nails that we need in, and then we're gonna sand it. Um, probably throw a plate compactor on the green to get the sand nice and settled into the green and get it rolling quick. And then uh, a power broom on the whole thing and it should be looking good. Perfect. Yeah. So we've got, so um, they've already pre-cut everything. So as you can see, here's the fabric here. This is the seam tape. They're gonna be putting that seam tape joining the seams together, and then they're actually gonna be nailing down the uh, perimeter as well to keep that secure. And then all of these uh, things of sand here, probably a good 40 bags of sand is all gonna go in here to finish off the green. They're gonna compact it, get it rolling nice and, and good. It's gonna be. Thank you for viewing this video and I want to give a shout out to Perfect Turf Vancouver who of course has sponsored this video. Thank you for the support and guys if you're in the lower mainland, if you're in the Vancouver, Canada region, make sure you check out Perfect Turf Vancouver. Their website is down in the description below. It's about 8.30, it's a nice summer night and I'm going to have to leave you guys because I got to go practice my putting now. Thanks everybody. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and see you in the next video.